Hello, business owner. So if you're a business owner who run ads on Facebook, then you should be familiar with what Facebook pixel is. Now, in this video, we are going to show you how to set up multiple pixels on our website or landing page or sales page. Now, the essence of setting up multiple pixel is so that should there be any form of emergency, should any of your ad accounts or business managers gets taken down at any instance you can have something to fall back on is all right so the trick here is for you to have the several pixels connected to several business managers that will serve as a backup should anything happen to any of the business assets so from facebook what you just need to do is to come to this section then head straight towards business settings is all right so in business settings you will now be able to come to data sources then click on what on pixels right here click on what add pixel so once you click on add pixel it should bring you up to this section so here you can now decide to give your pixel a name then you now insert your website so according to facebook inserting your website here will help them to know whether your website is running on wordpress on shopify or squarespace as the case may be so insert your wordpress or whatever third party landing page provider that you're using so this will help facebook to help you install the pixel or walk you through it so once you've inserted your website you hit on what continue so actually it should bring you to this section so after hitting continue it should bring you to this section so once you click on this it will say what copy code to clipboard all right so once the code is copied to clipboard you notice that our pixel is actually this string of numbers facebook will want you to paste the whole of this but the plugins we'll be looking at today will be showing us how to only copy this and paste to the particular page provided by the plugin and there will be another plugin where you have to copy the whole of this is that okay now looking at our website the whole number of pixels on this website is what three is that okay so one two three all right so three pixels installed on your website so most of these other plugins that want to activate is so that you cannot add more than one pixel on that particular plugin so the work around to it is that you can install several plugins that actually provide pixel solutions is okay there is several plugins that help you to install pixel so what you need to do is to head straight to your wordpress website admin section and you should be able to see something like this so the first thing you need to do is to install this particular pixel plugin called pixel your site is that right so just head straight to plugins add new then install is okay plugins add new then you search for the name here and install so once that is installed the other plugin that you need to install is easy pixel so the same process then the third plugin that you need to install is header and footer so once that plugin is installed you'll be able to see it here insert headers and footer that is under the settings section of your wordpress admin section okay so now we are going to be opening each one of these to see how we can now integrate our facebook pixel into our site so opening this on a new tab we should be able to see something like this so just scroll down to where you have facebook and click on what settings click for settings so once you click for settings you should be able to see this particular guy here all right so where you see meta pixel formerly facebook pixel id you now paste the pixel that you want to integrate into your site okay so i already have a pixel here so i'll just go ahead to open the second plugin which is, which is easy pixels so open in a new tab so easy pixel open to this and you should be able to see the space for facebook also where you have to do what 
paste your second pixel. So right now we have two pixels running on our site. Now the third one is that we'll copy this whole code here. Just copy this whole code that I copied from Facebook pixel setup. Then go ahead to where you have settings, then click on what? Insert header and footer. So once you click on insert header and footer, it should bring you up to this particular section. So insert header and footer is actually a plugin by WP Beginners or something. Okay, so you won't miss it. If you've not done anything on insert header and footer, then this particular section should be empty. So locate the header section of this plugin, then paste this particular code there to make sure that it's in the header section. Is that okay? So there are some other scripts that you paste in the body section. There are some other scripts that you paste in the footer section. But for this one, you are going to actually paste it in the header section. Now, once you are through with that, you hit on save for the three plugins that you've actually inserted your pixel. Remember the aim here is to make sure that your pixel is set up and you have several backups that you can fall back on supposing anything happen so once you are done that you come back here i've actually done this step but what you just need to do is to paste your website url www.yourwebsite.com in this particular section i now click on what send test traffic so once you click on send test traffic if the pixel is installed successfully you should be able to see what active in this section does that make sense also on your website you should be able to also see the pixel installed so we'll have three before but now we'll have what the fourth one which is what meta fashion and the code is what it ends with what 0997 which is the same thing as what we have here so 0997 it's actually a very easy step to follow so the essence of setting up multiple pixel is to help you to always have something to fall back on because most times facebook can deactivate your ad account so facebook can actually disable your business manager and you'll be left stranded should you be creating any new pixel at that instant then that new pixel will have a whole long way to go trying to learn your audience and all that but when you have several pixels installed on your site then they can be working concurrently even though one is active but the other ones are also gathering up data okay so you can always use them at any instant and at any website or landing page so on our next video we are going to be talking about the top five plugins that you can use to install pixels on your wordpress website it is free and it is what most wordpress developers use hope you got value in this video do what to smash the subscribe button also like and share our video remember to always give out value because it's on giving out value that profits will come peace out